We all hear OS reviews, so we always enjoy looking at slightly quirky, unique tech products outside of the mainstream. And today we're checking out two gadgets for the desk. So they're meant for, you know, in the office. The first one here is actually a mini heater. It's called a smart mini heater, but we'll discuss that in a moment. It's essentially just going to warm up the room, provide you with also a fan that you can use and has a retro throwback design. And over here we have a mini vacuum cleaner. So that removes dust from a desk, also removes dust from a keyboard and smaller areas that are hard to reach, but they're all very portable and kind of cute looking. Could be interesting ideas as stocking stuffers in the upcoming holiday season. All right, so the first product we're looking at is the Mini V Smart Heating Fan. Now, even though it has the word smart in it, it doesn't actually connect to your phone using Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. And essentially, again, it's just a heater slash fan. Uh, the only part that's kind of unique is really the design, which I do like quite a bit. It has a retro throwback look to it. Comes in a number of different colors, has this leather handle, so it definitely looks very uh, classy. Some basic features on here, it's a PTC ceramic heater, temperature sensitive, so you can control the temperature as well on the top, which is pretty cool. It's just the desktop smart heating fan, and we have just images of all the various sides, depending on what uh, corner of the box that you're looking at. And inside, there we go. We just have the mini heater itself, along with a quick user manual that uh, just quickly tells you how to turn it on and access some of the features. That's it. So again, really, it's the hardware design that is kind of what makes this unique compared to other ceramic heaters. It is very portable and again, sits on a desk, doesn't take up too much space. So very portable. The handle here is made out of genuine leather. So kind of similar to other retro style Bluetooth speakers in the market. It just uh, seems a little bit more classy. We have uh, also these grills here, which are made out of the ceramic coloring, almost like a mini radio or a mini refrigerator. Now these buttons do seem to be capacitive because they don't have any physical sensation in terms of pressing them down. And here's what it looks like on the back. You can also access a safety switch inside here. And now for a quick demo, after plugging into power, there's a beep and there's actually a very faint LED light that is glowing here that says it's in standby mode right now. I can tap on it once. It is a capacitive key, so it's touch sensitive. So we can tap on the power once, it's now on, and I can select the fan mode that I want and it will begin blowing. There's actually a smart sensor on here so that if you're tilting the uh, you know, the, the heater in a certain direction, it's actually not going to trigger and uh, turn on correctly. So it's going to detect that it's probably fallen, uh, you know, at an angle or something and it's not on a flat surface. So it's going to prevent you it from overheating or catching fire. So it does need to be on a flat surface. There is an accelerometer that detects orientation. And as long as it's flat, the keys and controls will be accessible. If it's tilted and you tap on the power key, it's actually not going to work. In terms of fan noise, you can hear that it's actually not too bad. Um, I can actually tap on the power key here once just to turn it off. It's going to take about 20 seconds to also cool down, and in this time it's just going to be blowing out to cool air uh, as well. So in terms of the fan noise, I would say it's pretty similar to using a desktop computer. It's not too uh, noisy. You can always wear active noise cancelling headphones if you want to completely block out the sound. But it definitely is quite effective in terms of actually producing quite a bit of heat. But again, quite portable. In terms of the height, it's about the same as a regular 6-inch phone, so really this thing is quite tiny. Tiny, um, if you look at it on screen here, so this is a better perspective. And the second product, also meant for the desk, is a mini vacuum cleaner. So this can be used to remove dust from the cracks of a keyboard or other places that are hard to reach. Uh, it's called a mini cleaner, and the tagline is purify your life anytime. It can also remove uh, dust or lint from a shirt. So a lot of times when you place a sweater you know, in the dryer, it comes out with a lot of these small cotton balls or particles. You can actually remove that with this uh, small vacuum cleaner as well. Packaging here, kind of weird looking. We have just a cleaner right on top. And down below, we have a mini instruction manual for the cleaner. And there's also a micro USB cable for charging the mini cleaner. And that's it. So the vacuum cleaner is in the shape of a teardrop. And it says, don't use it for absorbing water. So don't, you know, again, suck up coffee or tea spills with this. And on the bottom, we have these tiny little uh, kind of feet. This is a mode that you would use if you want to, you know, absorb stuff from a surface that's flat like this. Or from a shirt that has tiny particles on it and you can actually change the mode to open up this door to suck it using the flat surface. You can also close this up and only use this tip here which is used for again getting into the cracks of a keyboard anywhere that's harder to reach with your hands or a flat towel. You can pull on the top here to remove the lid and from here there's actually a HEPA filter so that prevents kind of dust or allergies from circulating over the air. 
All right, we have a small mess here. This little cluster is from the eraser uh, shavings. Over here is just, of course, a pencil shaving from a sharpener that maybe just got dropped. And here we have a little bit of food. This is actually a kind of rice cracker that was uh, smashed. So let's try cleaning up these particles and seeing if it uh, has any trouble with that. I'm just gonna use the front tip uh, for now. Turn it on to life. Sucking up some of these particles. So it does seem to be actually pretty effective with the uh, kind of eraser shavings here, you can tell it's just going in just very easily. Uh, the larger kind of pencil shavings are actually not gonna make it with this uh, smaller tip. You have to apply or kind of fiddle around with it a little bit. Uh, food particles also will struggle a little bit more with this uh, flat tip because it really is so small. And uh, try it once more. And now we can just suck it from the bottom. And indeed, the uh, kind of food particles has just gone through, uh, as you can see there. So it leaves us with a relatively clean surface. So definitely more suited for things like dust, uh, maybe again some food pieces like crackers or chips. Uh, smaller things, uh, I would say that, again, even as small as a pencil shaving, it struggles with. So uh, the size of this vacuum cleaner is definitely limited. All right, and just in terms of charging, if we just plug this USB cable in, indeed the ring here will just glow until it reaches uh, full capacity, and then it's going to stop flashing. Uh, it takes about an hour and a half to completely charge. So that's been our video, just a quick hands-on review of two unique desk gadgets, a mini heater called the Smart V, and a mini cleaner known as the PXC1A. So both of these are quite niche, they're not going to be, you know, probably products that people use every single day, but as stocking stuffers, why not? Especially in this holiday season, as it gets quite cold in many places around the world, something like this, a small heater, can make the room feel much warmer, much more inviting. The design of both of these products is quite cool, in fact, I would say the hardware is the most interesting thing about these, just how compact this thing is. It can charge up using micro USB, as well as the mini heater having this really retro design with the leather handle I think is quite cool. And performance is adequate, it's average on both. Uh, despite not being super intelligent or connected to a smartphone, they both work well and are affordable. You can check out both of these products in the links down below, but for now that's been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews, that's been the Mini V Smart Heater and the Mini Vacuum Cleaner.